Tesla was recently issued approval from the EPA for the standard range rear wheel drive Model Y, the 2023 model, meaning we could finally see the return of a more affordable rear wheel drive Model Y option in the USA this year. And so in this video, I wanna talk about um, what the EPA documents reveal and also discuss the likelihood of this version actually becoming available in the near future. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. I regularly check the EPA website um, for new documents for Tesla vehicles, and I recently came across um, this document here, which is a certificate of conformity for the rear wheel drive Model Y, meaning that Tesla is approved for the 2023 model year to sell a rear wheel drive Model Y in the USA. Now you may remember that very briefly um, in early 2021, Tesla did offer a rear wheel drive Model Y in the USA, but it was quickly removed as an option and has not been available in the USA market since then. Nonetheless, for some time, Tesla has been building a rear wheel drive made in China Model Y variant. Um, that they sell not only in the local market there, but also they export that vehicle globally throughout Asia, Europe, Canada, Mexico, Australia, the Middle East, New Zealand. So pretty much everywhere that Tesla sells vehicles, except for the USA market. Instead, the least expensive variant of the Model Y that we have available is the standard range all wheel drive version, which has 4680 batteries and is built at Gigafactory, Texas. But now of course, there's the possibility of having a standard range um, rear wheel drive variant of the Model Y once again become available. But as I'll talk about later, I don't believe Tesla will have the standard range all wheel drive version available at the same time as the standard range rear wheel drive version. Now, I do think it's important that I point out that just because Tesla was issued a certificate to be able to sell a rear wheel drive, Model Y in the USA doesn't mean that that vehicle will necessarily be offered for sale this year. Um, Tesla was issued a certificate of conformity for a 2022 model year standard range rear wheel drive Model Y, but that model was never officially offered in the USA. Hopefully this time will be different though. Now, one of the reasons why a rear wheel drive uh, Model Y hitting the USA market makes me so excited is the fact that very likely that vehicle would have um, a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. And I've talked a lot about the benefits of lithium iron phosphate batteries in the past, but in general, those batteries will last longer than a nickel based cathode pack. And um, generally lithium iron phosphate batteries have a very high track record for safety, and in addition, Tesla recommends with a lithium iron phosphate based battery pack that you regularly charge that vehicle to 100%. So if you have an EPA range of let's just say 245 miles with that standard range rear wheel drive Model Y, you can actually take advantage of that full range regularly, whereas with a nickel based pack, you probably shouldn't charge over 80 or 90% regularly if you want to maintain good battery health. Now, when it comes to why I believe the rear wheel drive uh, Model Y that would be sold in the USA would have a lithium iron phosphate battery pack, that comes down to the fact that the rear wheel drive Model Y that is built at Giga Shanghai and exported into the Canadian market, according to reports like, for instance, this Drive Tesla Canada article, that vehicle, that rear wheel drive Model Y that's being sold in Canada does indeed have a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. If you go to the Tesla Canada website and you look at that vehicle, um, Tesla lists the EPA range at 394 kilometers, which translates to roughly, if you round that up, to roughly around 245 miles of range. In addition, Tesla lists the weight of that vehicle at 1,909 kilograms, which equates to 4,209 pounds. And if you look at Tesla's EPA application, for this rear wheel drive Model Y that they got approved here in the USA, they list the weight, the curb weight of that vehicle at 4,209 pounds, which is identical to what is being sold in Canada. Another key piece of information that would make me believe that the rear wheel drive um, Model Y would have a lithium iron phosphate battery pack comes down to the fact that in Tesla's EPA application, they list the specific energy density or the gravimetric energy density of that battery pack at 131 watt hours per kilogram. 
when you compare that to the Panasonic 2170 equipped Model Y, um, that vehicle, according to EPA documents, has a pack level energy density of 180 watt hours per kilogram. We know that's a nickel based pack. And if we look at the pack level energy density of the standard range rear wheel drive Model 3, which we know to have a lithium iron phosphate battery pack, that pack level energy density, according to EPA documents, um, is 126 watt hours per kilogram. So once again, that 131 watt hours per kilogram is quite close to the standard range rear wheel drive Model 3 lithium iron phosphate uh, battery pack pack level energy density. And it's quite a bit less than the 2170 equipped Model Y pack level energy density. So that leads me to believe that this is a lithium iron phosphate uh, battery pack in this Model Y variant. Okay, so, so far everything has been lining up very nicely. Um, but as I went through this application, I noticed something that was kind of interesting. It appears like based on the charging tests that were listed, the data from the charging tests that were listed in this application, that there could potentially be three different battery sizes that Tesla is getting approved in this application. Now, as far as I can tell, the lithium iron phosphate equipped made in China Model Y with CATL batteries has a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack. So I would expect that the rear wheel drive uh, Model Y version that Tesla would sell in the USA would also have a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack. However, once again, in this EPA document, there are three separate charging tests listed. And if you look at the data that is shared here, it makes it look like three different battery sizes were being tested. Now the charging data listed in these EPA applications um, does not give you the exact battery size, but it does give you enough information to have a rough estimate of the battery pack size. And if we assume an average 11% loss during DC fast charging for the Model Y, and using the charging data that is listed on this EPA application, we can get pretty close to the battery sizes that were tested here. So going to this EPA document, this first recharge event was listed at 60.231 kilowatt hours. The next recharge event was listed at 67.991 kilowatt hours. And the third recharge event was listed at 64.936 kilowatt hours. So with that recharge event data and assuming an 11% um, loss during DC fast charging, you can see here that I've estimated based on those three recharge events, what I believe the usable battery capacity of those vehicles being tested would be. I'm also assuming roughly a two kilowatt hour buffer between the usable battery capacity and the total battery capacity. So you can see there that based on this recharge event data, it could mean that Tesla is using three different battery types in a rear wheel drive Model Y. And I'm not saying they're gonna offer all three at the same time, but I believe they're leaving themselves room to choose one of these battery types based on battery availability. Someone please correct me if I'm reading this wrong, um, but it sure looks like to me that Tesla in this application um, had three different battery types being tested. Now, when it comes to three potential battery types that could be used, if I'm right about this, three different battery types being tested here, one of these could be a CATL, lithium iron phosphate based battery pack. Another one could be a BYD lithium iron phosphate based battery pack because there have been rumors of Tesla using BYD lithium iron phosphate blade batteries in the Model Y. And a third variant could be LG Energy Solution 2170 batteries, um, which is what I believe Tesla is using in the long range all wheel drive Model 3 that is available here in North America. Now this does bring up the question of, will Tesla also import uh, the made in China Model Y into the USA? And could that be what this version actually is? I don't believe that's going to be the case because of the IRA incentives. Right now, all Model 3 and Model Y variants, according to Tesla's website, qualify for the full IRA tax credit of up to $7,500. And I believe Tesla would want any Model Y variant that they bring out in the future to also qualify. And a made in China Model Y, as far as I can understand, wouldn't qualify for any of that IRA tax credit. So that would be really key um, that it qualifies for that. So I believe this is going to be a USA built uh, vehicle. Now, when it comes to the actual likelihood of a rear wheel drive Model Y coming to the USA market, it is a little too early to get your hopes up if this is a vehicle that you want. Because once again, just because Tesla has received approval doesn't necessarily mean that um, they plan to offer that for sale 
in the USA this year. However, with the slow ramp of 4680 batteries, if Tesla ends up needing all the 4680 batteries they can produce to build Tesla Cybertrucks, for instance, um, the standard range rear wheel drive version could temporarily replace the 4680 standard range all wheel drive Model Y in the USA. So it would allow Tesla to still have a standard range, less expensive Model Y, but if they needed to shift 4680 batteries over to the Cybertruck, this option could be one that Tesla has in their back pocket to bring up and still offer a Model Y in a price point that is a little lower than the long range version. When it comes to the pricing that I would expect for this model, uh, currently, as of the day of this recording, Tesla is selling the standard range all wheel drive Model Y for $47,740 plus the $1,390 destination and the $250 order fee. So with that in mind, I believe a standard range rear wheel drive Model Y then could start at um, just a bit under $45,000 or so, or around that $45,000 mark plus applicable fees. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. Um, will Tesla bring this model to the USA? And what battery type and battery size do you think it will have? Also, what price point do you think Tesla will offer this at? And let me know if you would buy one if it had around 245 miles of range and had a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me on Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support me through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description so you can check that out. Thank you so much.